Hi, I am Dr. Vishnu. Um, uh, today we are here to talk about the visceris. Our lab is more focused on uh, industrial microbiology kind of work. Our research is mostly focused on creating a value from the agricultural or uh, industrial byproduct waste using the various uh, processing technologies, primarily fermentation technologies. We, we use the fungi, uh, most of the edible fungi we would say, uh, to convert the agricultural waste. For example, um, uh, the DDGS is the prime example and uh, the all seed uh, meal product, for example, soybean meal, uh, canola meal. So we are using those agricultural products to convert <clears throat> into a more nutritional product for the food and feed purpose. And we usually collaborate with the faculties from the animal science or from the natural resource management. In this role, I have been serving for the last two and a half years. So I have worked with the multiple um, food, um, or cereal grains or uh, food byproducts, for example, sorghum hominy or gore meal or DDGS, canola meal, soybean meal, barley are some of those to name. Besides the fermentation technologies, we also use the enzyme technologies because um, the, this fungi produces enzyme, but at the same time the process tend to be uh, slow. So to increase the, uh, to maximize the process efficiency, sometimes we use the commercial enzymes or the, or combine it with the pretreatment technologies, for example, extrusion or the ultrasonication or dilute or sulfuric acids or um, the uh, simply the hot water ex uh, explosion systems that we use for um, increasing the uh, process efficiency. If not only the lab is skilled, but in the long term, if there is a viability of uh, commercializing the process. Um, in our lab, we have a capacity of working in the very small flask to a 5 liter bioflows to up to the 70 liter bioreactors that are located some in this building and some are in the other phase buildings. Besides that, whenever we need a larger scale uh, trials to do for the uh, fish feeding trials or other animal trials, we do collaborate with the partners, the local partners. Um, we have in our lab, we host uh, several undergraduate students. I would say in average, at least two to three undergraduate students at a time. We like to train them and uh, we believe in uh, giving an opportunity for undergraduate students to be able to learn the, what research is really going on and how they might take that experience for advancing their future career. And we have uh, here today the graduate students um, that are working on several projects. Um, so I will let them introduce themselves and then explain a little bit about their research. Um, I'm Stephanie Wu In. The project that I've been focusing on mostly is dealing with uh, producing a natural antimicrobial called glyceolin using soybeans inoculated with grass certified fungus. And basically our end goal with that is to reach a cost le or a cost efficient level of glyceolin production so that we can um, hopefully supplement it to feedstock and try and phase out the synthetic antibiotic. I'm uh, Ahmed al Hamoudi. I'm a PhD student. Uh, my project is to uh, convert the canola meal into a high uh, protein feed and at the same time to, uh, to reduce the anti-nutritional uh, factors, substances that uh, when present in uh, animal feed uh, by themselves or uh, through their metabolic uh, product, uh, they reduce the availability of one or more uh, nutrients. So the main goal is to provide uh, a low cost feed with a high protein level and uh, with the low uh, nutritional factors. I'm Burgundy Roberts. I am a master's student here. I'm working with DDGS and trying to improve various aspects of it for feed purposes. Um, we've looked at using fungus to increase the protein content while decreasing the fiber content. We're also doing a major study on the effect of commercial enzymes and how that affects the fiber content and various other um, components of DDGS. And then we plan on putting them both together to see how those react together. I'm Andrea Zavadil and I just started this semester um, on the glyceolin project. 
So using everything that uh, Stephanie has learned through her project, I'm hoping to take a deeper dive into some of the different things we've learned and also trying to kind of scale up the process um, so it'd be similar to a larger scale and kind of comparing to that to see how it can be cost efficient for the bioprocessing aspect of it. So as uh, four of these students have their own projects which mainly encompasses on our major goal of using or advancing the agricultural commodities using the processing technologies and some of the undergraduate students are not uh, present here who are working on a similar along the similar line but using the different substrate one of the students is working on a capstone project which is which involves the barley the barley is uh, one of the potential crop uh, that's uh, for in the feed especially in the fish nutrition and uh, she is trying to look at how this sprouting or germination the barley may have in a positive influence to be to be included into the fish nutrition that is her study there is one more student who has been working for the past three summers uh, with us is working on creating or extracting the uh, all the phenolics from the uh, wine industry byproduct for example grape pomace so that uh, that's where a great potential lies and she has been comparing the different extraction technologies by using solvent extraction or by using the ultrasonication or microwave and to be able to compare and see how efficiently we can we extra uh, we can extract those uh, phenolics and also see if they can be utilized in their more natural and more stable form in the food or the, for the feed purpose. That's also some of the examples. The research that we are doing currently is not only what we have been doing. There is an opportunity uh, to explore uh, the newer avenues or newer side which involves uh, creating value. Basically, we want to add a value to the low value product and produce fuel uh, or say energy or bio-based product or um, the uh, feed ingredients or high nutrient food ingredients. That's our goal is that our lab is focused on.